Hi guys, it's Ryan here with Sigma Survival and welcome to the video series on different bug out kits and general survival kits that I've got. So today's video is about my personal long range survival bug out bag. My bug out kit is mostly going to be carried on my person, on my belt line, um, in my pockets. It's really not a major kit, but this is a long range survival kit, guys. So this is something that essentially can, can sustain me for a longer period of time. It gives me shelter building abilities. It gives me navigation abilities. It gives me a whole host of different abilities that I wouldn't have had. And also comfort items like a good sleeping bag, um, 24 hour ration packs, uh, homemade ones that is. Uh, it's got a water bladder, three litre water bladder that's got charcoal blocks in it so it naturally filters that water as well. So a lot of different items in this kit, let's get into what's in them. Okay guys, so yeah, 24 hour ration pack, that's my own design. Um, at the front I've just got this massive tarp, it's about 14 feet by 10 feet, heavy duty tarp for longer term shelter builds. In the front, water carrying capabilities, so just collapsible jerry can. Ah, another easy access food pouch there, extra calories, water purification tablets, things like that. These are just one litre ones at a time, so you know they could be put in the water bladder that's at the front, which you'll see now. But that also has a couple of charcoal blocks in it, so that the water, anything in the water can be absorbed while it's in the packet. flip-flops on the side that just basically you know after a long day's hike you definitely want these I guarantee it disposable gloves always useful for toileting skin animals whatever it is and just general toiletries and foot powder things like that you know these things are really really super useful generally speaking flannels um, you know, great for dipping in water and cleaning yourself off Dental floss, you can never have enough dental floss guys and, and dental products. Um, razors and razor blades, uh, can use the soap flakes that you've seen to essentially, you know, sud up my face. A little bottle of shampoo, things like this, you know, they're toothpaste and, you know, a couple of um, tubes of toothpaste and toothbrush that's fresh. Comb, uh, it's actually a beard comb I think. Antifungal creams and other medicinal creams, you know, these are going to be super, super useful in the long run. Um, same with the antifungal powder. I've got a little PPE kit here that's just got a mask and hand sanitizer and things like that, gloves. And then there's some giant body wipes on the other side. And then there's just like general over-the-counter medicines. Uh, not too many, just, just enough to get you through like a couple of days worth. Uh, a good climbing grade carabiner, just um, a snap link one attached to the metal frame of the pack. This is just for pulling the pack up if I've climbed up something or lowering it down safely. Um, and also I can take the carabiner off at any point. Waterproofs, uh, waterproof jacket and trousers are in the side pockets, easily accessible just to be able to quickly throw on basically whilst without even taking the pack off for the trousers at least. Front compartment, I've got spare clothes, uh, enough for a couple of days, so a couple of t-shirts, two shemmers, and some compression shorts for to stop chafing. And then in the green one, colour coded of course, I've got spare underwear and socks, about five days worth. Small extra little tarp. And then the sleeping kit, you know, I've got a, uh, an inflatable roll mat which um, is for insulation from the floor. And then there's also a pretty decent sleeping bag in there. Um, hammock. The hammock is basically the, the sofa. <laughs> when I'm out in the wilderness, it's, you know, it's really comfortable and I can sleep in it if need be, especially if it's a flooded area. Inflatable pillow. And then a, a 
pack away pillow as well is also in there. But the sleeping bag itself that I should talk about a little bit is um, is actually the comfort rating is two degrees Celsius, so it's for colder weather. I use it all year round, so I just leave it open if um, if it's too warm. And there's a bivy bag that covers that, which is breathable. Uh, I can survive up to minus 12 in just the sleeping bag and that's without other measures uh, a little snud here that's for keeping insects out of my nose mouth and ears you know when you're sleeping close to the ground you know it's very rare that this could happen it's never happened to me when I haven't used this but I like to use it just to be safe you know when the pack's on I've got you know things in the front and the sides that I can grab I've got um, a compass in the one side uh, which has got the yellow cordage on it a little cheap flashlight here, hand sanitizer gel, a pack of uh, fruit and nut mix. This is uh, super useful, and a pack of tissues for you know, well, for the obvious. Fruit and nut mix is really high calorie, so that's why I keep them there, just for snacking in general. And of course, as you've already seen, there's the um, the waterproof trousers. And as you can see, the little orange clip there also has a whistle on it, so that's good for signalling if need be, if that's the sort of situation that I'm in. Most of my bug out kit is going to be on my belt or in my pockets. You know, that's everything from it's the full 10 C's of survivability in my pockets on my belt line. As well as my additional 5 C's, generally speaking. But when it's a longer term situation, I'm going to want my long range survivor pack. I'm going to want those extra rations, that extra water, etc, etc. Well, let me know what you think of whichever kit I've just shown. Please just like and subscribe. It really helps the channel to grow and um, it really helps get the message out there to get more people prepared. You know, you just never know when you're going to be in a situation where you need to, to grab all your kit and go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, Really appreciate you taking the time to just look at the kits and the, the, you know, the preparations that I make for any sort of disaster that might, you know, come about. Any sort of shit hit the fan scenario. Anyway, um, yeah. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching, and till next time. Mm -hmm.